a little onion comparison up here in Wisconsin. These are my first ones that were ready. This is the Highlander. I have five different varieties growing. And we're gonna see which ones do good. These balled up really quickly, nice and early. Uh, they were done about the middle of July. They look like they were pretty well done. So I'm gonna continue on as the other ones get done and we'll make a comparison for Wisconsin. At about the 44 degree latitude, somewhere around there. Well, harvesting some more onions. This is August 1st. This variety is Copra. It's supposed to be a good storage onion. I've grown those before. These are pretty nice size for a Copra. Usually I expect them to be more about this size. They did really well. The tops are all falling down, so take a little look at them, get a comparison what sizes they are here. And um, put those in my shed on a screen and let them dry out a little bit better. Clean the tops off. So that's the Copra. Bulbed up good here in Wisconsin. And I guess that's a good long day onion. First week in August and the onions are pretty well done. Just uh, had these out of the ground the other day. These are Cipollinis. It's an Italian type. There's some really nice ones in here. I've tried growing these before from seed and if I got one that size I was pretty lucky. But uh, these are a flatter onion. They did quite well for me. I don't have a whole lot of them here but I don't think these keep as well as some of the other ones. As you can see, they're doing pretty, did pretty good with these. I'm pretty happy with the outcome. And, uh, we'll put them out and we'll let them cure a little bit more. The other variety today I pulled up was uh, Red River. that there. Red River. Never had too good of luck growing red onions. Always turned out small or almost non-existent. Uh, these plants here turn out really well for me here in Wisconsin. Some really nice size to them. For me I've never grown a red onion that ended up that nice of a size. So I'm quite happy with that. These I'm going to leave the tops on for a little while. I'm going to set them out so they can cure. And then uh, they're a pretty hard onion. There's really a pretty color. Nice color red. So that's them. The other variety that is growing this year are these over here. These are still in the ground. And I'll take a quick look at these. I'm not quite sure when I want to pull these out. I'll focus this a little bit here. And these are big daddies. These uh, still seem to be growing. They're not uh, any real huge size to them. Some of them down at the end are Tops are pretty tipped over, so I can't quite tell what's going on with these. I think this is it. I don't think they're going to get any bigger. And uh, there's still some okay onions here, but uh, the name doesn't justify the size that I got from them. It's not saying that they're not a good onion. They're probably an excellent onion. It's just maybe they just didn't grow good for me here in the garden. Everything, all the other onions I had, grew quite well. So that's my onion review. I'll be popping these out of the ground uh, in a couple of days probably. And uh, if anything happens better with these, I'll put a little update. Anyway, those are Big Daddy here in Wisconsin.